Good evening, where you are. I hope you're excited just as we are. It's been fun skating these new Nijas, and it's been an honor and it's been a fun opportunity. Thank you, Mowgli, for buying these shoes and allowing us to skate with them. With the Nijas, they range to 90 to 95 bucks, depending if you're buying them online. They're sold out everywhere, which is pretty insane because this is the current shoe that is getting a lot of hype right now and they were fun skating in so for 90 bucks that's uh, an eyebrow razor because that's pretty expensive so let's talk about these shoes in depth starting from the outside it is said to be a synthetic leather which is a uh, intriguing material because it feels it feels um, pretty odd flicking against the grip tape and for board feel it gives you a lot of board feel they feel light and you can feel the ground beneath you so when jumping down big things that is not a plus because when you take out the insole there's not much layer to this and there's not much cushion it's just a basic flap of insole it does no justice looking inside the shoe again no cushion or anything it's just straightforward rubber and with the material it does seem pretty durable after doing hundreds of kick flips and flip tricks they seem to be doing pretty well there's only a little bit of scraping right here and they look pretty durable when you slip the shoes on, they hug the feet, they're pretty tight, and perhaps you don't have to wear laces because they are that snug, they hug your feet. And as far as breathing material, they are pretty light and you got some ventilation on the sides with some opening to allow your feet to breathe. And so that's cool, but when skating in them, I felt like it didn't really make a difference because they hug your feet that much they just felt really narrow on my feet and so I think these shoes serve more as fashion over function because in the new Nigel part he killed it but what I didn't see in this new part were tricks that required him to flick and I didn't see many flip tricks in his latest part I just saw a lot of get on grinds some really gnarly tricks again but I didn't see so many flip tricks, so I wonder if Nigel had any uh, issue flipping tricks. And I know that's kind of a dumb question to ask for someone who's really experienced in skateboarding and who's really good. But I didn't see many flip tricks. So when I was doing flip tricks in these, I felt a little awkward because I prefer suede shoes over this material which I've never skated with before and it did take a little adjusting to get used to so when flipping tricks let us know if you experience the same type of sensation or feeling because I felt a really odd feeling kick flipping in these or doing tray flips and other tricks so let us know what you experience if you have these shoes with the bottoms there are little areas where just a little bit more gripping is in other areas but other than that it's just spaced out they do seem pretty flexible good board field but again for impact I don't know I wasn't feeling it for the impact because I jumped off a, maybe a loading dock and a few tries it was already getting to my feet whereas I was wearing other shoes and I just knew I've had more cushion before and it's just these are pretty uh, 
they hurt my feet, to be honest. But other than that, they're really cool. 90 bucks for the aesthetics and the comfortability aspect, I would say so. But for function, I don't know if 90 bucks does justice for its function. Unless this shoe was made just for tech tricks. Maybe just some getting on, getting off. Because again, with the flicking factor, I felt some type of way. And it was an experience skating with these. So, 90 bucks, yeah, for the fashion aspect. So, I, I would say that these serve more as fashion over function again. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Let us know what you thought. Comment below and let us know your experience. Or if you have any other questions, maybe we can do an update with these shoes and show you how shredded they get a week from now. Also guys, let us know what shoe you would like to see get reviewed next. So, these are the Nigel Houston's, his latest signature shoe. Let us know what you think. Anyhow, take care guys. I'll meet you all fall. Peace.